Hey guys, it's Thomas here with TechnoVision and welcome to the next episode of our Spigot plugin tutorial series. In this episode, we're gonna be covering custom recipes as well as furnace smelting recipes and we can just get right into it. So you want to set these recipes wherever you create your either your custom items or just load your items in general. So in my case, you know, in the last episode, we talked about the item manager and creating custom items. So I'm gonna add a custom recipe to our, our wand we made, the stick of truth. So in our method here, our create wand method I'm just gonna have it occur right below where the uh, the item is finalized here so after you've made your your custom item uh, and again you can do this to uh, you can add recipes to vanilla items as well and I'll show that in a second but uh, I'm gonna show this first so there's three different recipes types that you can you can use so first one is a shaped recipe and uh, essentially a shaped recipe is the majority of Minecraft crafting recipes, it's any recipe that has a defined shape that must be met in order to uh, satisfy the recipe. So for example, like uh, a wooden pickaxe, for example, it has a very set shape that you have to follow, otherwise it won't work. So we're gonna try that first. So to make one of these, you wanna create an object, a shaped recipe object. And we can just name this SR for shaped recipe. I want this to equal a new shaped recipe. And this is gonna take in two parameters. Uh, so the first one is gonna be a namespace key, and then we can just type name space key dot Minecraft. And inside of here, you're gonna pass in a string that is unique to your recipe. So this cannot be used anywhere else, any other recipes. So in my case, uh, this is gonna be just wand because it is a recipe for our wand. And then of course a comma, and the last uh, parameter is the item. So this item that you're gonna pass in is an item stack. This is going to be the result of the recipe. So this is what you're gonna get from the crafting recipe. If you wanna do your custom item here, like we're doing, uh, and that's the reason we're doing this custom item is because we're doing it inside of the method here, um, it, you would just pass in the item. And that's the, uh, the item stack that we made earlier, that custom item stack. If for whatever reason you were doing a, a vanilla recipe, uh, for, a, uh, for a vanilla item, essentially, you could just pass in a new item stack uh, and then this would be the result of your uh, of your uh, recipe. So you could have like just material dot diamond, for example, and then one. And that would be a vanilla item that you would get just one vanilla diamond uh, as a result. So that's how you do vanilla uh, results. But we want this to be a, a recipe for our wand. So I'm just going to type in item uh, and add a semicolon at the end here. So we have our recipe, but it doesn't actually do anything. So we need to add a shape. We can do that with sr.shape. And uh, you wanna pass in three strings. So I'll talk about these in a second, but let's just set this up uh, in a semicolon. So uh, each of these strings represents the uh, different rows in a crafting table. So this first uh, string here is gonna be the top row. Then we've got the middle row, and then we've got the final, the, the bottom row. And these are each gonna have three slots in them, like this. And uh, you can set these slots to any sort of key that you want, and we'll assign that key, that character, to a specific material um, so that you can have it be a, a functioning crafting recipe. So, uh, and, and the empty spots would be blanks. So I guess the best way to show this is just an example. So I want my, uh, my wand here to be crafted with a, a piece of blaze powder in the top left corner, a stick in the middle, and then a stick in the bottom right corner. So it kind of looks like a wand in the uh, in the crafting recipe. So what we want to do is uh, let's have a uh, an ingredient here, a key set for blaze powder, uh, which we'll set later, but I want it to be just the letter B, capital B. And then because uh, this is the top left corner, keep in mind uh, that we're setting to blaze powder here. Um, and then the remaining two slots in the top are gonna be empty, so we just put two spaces there. And that's the top row, just a blaze powder in the top left corner. And again, this key can be whatever you'd like, we're gonna assign it later as a variable. Uh, so now let's do the middle. So the middle is going to have a space on the left, and then in the middle, we want a, a stick. So we're gonna assign the letter S to stick, and then another space. So this is uh, making sure that in the middle here, we have a stick in the middle. And then the last row, the bottom row of the crafting, uh, crafting table rather, we want two spaces and then another stick. So hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. Another way you can uh, visualize this is by bringing them down here um, like this. Well, this is a great way of visualizing it. So you can see the top row of our crafting table, the middle row and the bottom row. And you can see it's sort of like a diagonal shape of two sticks and a blaze powder. So yeah, we can keep it like this if you'd like or you can do it on one line up to you. Uh, now we need to actually set these uh, variables here. 
to actual ingredients. So we can do that with sr dot add ingredient uh, dot sorry set ingredient, and we need to pass in a character. So the first character is going to be b capital b, and keep in mind this is case sensitive. So uh, b and like b those are two separate uh, characters. All right, so capital b comma and this is going to be equal to uh, material dots and you can choose uh, whatever your material type you want essentially for the uh, what this is assigned to the character B so I want this to be blaze powder so dot blaze powder and there we go all right so now the character B is assigned to blaze powder and we can do the same thing for s so sr dot set ingredient character capital s and we want to set this to material dots uh, blaze or not not blaze powder dot stick there we go semicolon and there we go so um, that's essentially how you set ingredients pretty simple now this recipe is done it's fully functional but we need to add it to uh, the game so to do that we can just do bucket dot get server dot add recipe and we can add uh, this recipe here uh, to the game typing sr because that's the variable we made the object I mean uh, and add a semicolon. Okay, so now the uh, the shape recipe is done and it'll work in the game. We'll test these out later, but I want to get through the other two first. So next one we can talk about is a shapeless recipe. And uh, again, you don't have to do these. These are all optional. You can pick and choose whatever you want and it doesn't have to be in uh, your item manager, but that's where I want to put it just for uh, like clarity, uh, clarity's sake. So anyway, uh, shapeless recipe. This is the uh, very similar to a shape recipe, except there's no shape. So you can just uh, throw as many items as uh, you know are set in this recipe into a crafting table in any order, and uh, it will make the item. So an example of this kind of recipe would be like um, a flint and steel, for example. You can just put one flint and one uh, piece of iron ingot in the uh, crafting recipe and uh, it can be in any order, any slot, and it will still work. So that's what this is. And we can make this with shapeless recipe, shape, I cannot spell today, shapeless recipe, uh, shapeless recipe, let's let's uh, name this SIR for shapeless recipe, is equal to new shapeless recipe. And uh, this is gonna take in the same things as before, so, uh, name space key dot minecraft and again this has to be unique uh so it, you can't just use wand again so i'm gonna put like wand underscore shapeless just so it's unique uh to this recipe and then again uh a comma after this and uh, we need to pass in the item which is the uh again the um the result of this recipe so i'm gonna type an item because i want it to be a recipe for our our custom uh item here and uh, I did this wrong it has to be a parameter for uh, the uh, the shapeless recipe not the uh, namespace key all right and uh, item there we go okay so we have our shapeless recipe now since there's no shape we don't need to set a shape but we do need to set the ingredients so you can do sir uh, dot add ingredient and first thing you're gonna type in is the amount of this ingredient so I want this uh, recipe to be uh, if you throw one a one diamond and two blaze powder into a crafting table it'll make the item so first let's do the uh, the blaze powder so if we have two blaze powder so set the count to two and then we can set the material to blaze powder just like that super easy we can do it again sar dot add ingredients uh, this time a count of one and then material dot diamond and a semicolon at the end all right so super simple it's just saying throw two blaze powders in there and one diamond and uh, this recipe will work uh, so this is done. All we need to do again is add it to the game with bucket dot get server dot add recipe. And again, our recipe here is called SIR, so we can type in SIR. Okay, so uh, these two recipes are done. Final one is a furnace recipe, and this is essentially just a smelting recipe. It's like one thing goes into the furnace and gets smelted into another thing. So let me make a note here: furnace recipe. All right. So to make one of these, just like you'd expect with everything else. It's just a recipe, uh, furnace recipe object, furnace recipe. And we can just name this like smelt, I guess, is equal to new furnace recipe. And this is gonna take in uh, a few things, a few more things than we're used to. So first, name spaced key, name uh, spaced key, dot minecrafts. And then again, we need a custom uh, unique string here. So it can't be wand, it can't be wand underscore shapeless. So let's do wand underscore smelt. 
There we go. Uh, then we also need, oh, I put that too far out. Um, we also need a um, the item, the result of this crafting recipe. So what the item you put in here will be the results of this smelting. So um, again, I want our custom item, but again, if you wanted a vanilla item, you could just create a new item stack like I showcased before uh, with a vanilla material. All right, and then next we need uh, the actual material that is put into the furnace to be smelted. So I want it so that when you put in an emerald into the furnace, it'll be smelted into your uh, this custom item. So we can just do material.emerald. Let's bring this down here so it's easier to see. Um, and so what this is doing is saying if we put an emerald in the furnace, it will be smelted into this item. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we also need to add the uh, experience that you'll get. So you can get, you know, usually in Minecraft you get experience for smelting certain ores. Uh, you can set this to zero if you don't want anything there. I'm gonna set this to 1.0F. Uh, it does have to be a float, so um, yeah, keep that in mind, but you can set this to really whatever you want, it's just the experience that you'll get when you finish the recipe. And then finally we have the time in ticks that it takes to complete this recipe. So in ticks, one second is 20 ticks, uh, so what you can do is set the amount of seconds you want this recipe to last, I'm gonna have this be 10 seconds, and you can just multiply it by 20. Or if you want, you could just uh, multiply it on your calculator and throw it in here. But yeah, just remember the seconds you want, the time in seconds, times 20. So this recipe will take 10 seconds. Add a semicolon, and this recipe is pretty much done. All you have to do is again, add it to the game with bucket.getServer.addRecipe, and it's named spell. All right, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for recipes. I know it's like super simple, but I just wanted to cover it really quickly. And now let's jump into the game and check them out. All right, so we're inside of the game now and I have some of our materials in my uh, inventory here. And let's just try out a couple of the recipes. So first one I wanna try out is the shaped recipe. And that was two sticks and a blaze powder. And there we go, we can see that it does craft the stick of truth and it is shaped so you can't just you know use these anywhere. It does have to be in the, uh, the shape that we set, but you can see that it is reversible. So, and that's intentional. Uh, so yeah, we can now craft the stick of truth and it is the custom item, you can just make sure it does have that special event we sent where it explodes when you right click. So yeah, it's all working great. Uh, now let's come back and try with the shape less recipe. So that one was two blaze powder and one diamond just thrown into the crafting table. And you can see here that it does work and it is shapeless so we can just throw them wherever we'd like uh, and it will work. And that does mean that it should work in our, uh, our main inventory as well here. Uh, so let's just try that really quickly. Um, and there we go, it does get our stick of truth. All right, and then the last one was a smelting recipe and we put one emerald into a furnace, that's what we set. And it should take around 10 seconds and give one uh, experience point. Uh, not super important, but uh, you can see that it is working and we should get our stick of truth. And there we go. So all the recipes are working great and now you have some custom recipes for your items. All right, so that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Thanks guys so much for watching. And remember that you can use this with vanilla items. You don't have to use just custom items. So keep that in mind. Again, you wanna just change this item to whatever you want the outcome of your recipe to be. And yeah, I hope you learned a lot and I will see you in the next episode.